Whoa, dude. <laughs> Is this the 420 podcast? Bro. What? 420 was a week ago. It's 427. <laughs> Shit. How long? How long have we been out? <laughs> a minute, but that means we didn't record a podcast last week. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome, everybody. Hi. To the To Be Decided podcast. We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> Did you miss us? It's only been a week off. It's, it's a, you know, a really nice week off. Though. <laughs> yeah, it's been nice. My mm-hmm. name is Alex. I am your host alongside the other host, Mahmood. Hello. Hey, Mahmood. What's up? Uh, why? <laughs> what is your stance on people with mustaches? <laughs> Okay, listen. <laughs> I just think that if you okay, follow me on this. Well, we should tell them why I bring up this question uh-huh, and uh-huh, like. Uh-huh. So here's the thing, right? A while back, we went out with one of my work buddies. Mm-hmm. His name is Ryan. Yep. Real nice guy. He's a he's a okay dude. He he he's a dude. Yeah, he's, a dude. he's just a dude, man. He's just a guy. And uh, we met up for some drinks, and Ryan has this really sick mustache. Is it a sick mustache? Is it like it could, it could it be could cleaner. Be si- it could be sicker. <laughs> it could be, it could be cleaner. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a. Big he just ass, needs to take better kinda, care of yeah, it. Yeah, he's kind of got like '90s cop mustache. You but know? you also saw him like post to work. Like that's true. That's true. You saw him post to work. That's true. Like he greased up. He wasn't at at uh, at his max potential. Yeah, but uh. How did you how did you feel about Ryan? Okay, look, Ryan's fine. He's like whatever. But I just feel like if you have a mustache, you should be funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just think that you should be funny if you have a mustache. Cause like having a mustache is kind of a funny not like a not like a beard, right? Not like the mustache yeah, beard. Yeah, yeah. Like But if you have singular just mustache, that's all you have, I think you should kind of be like a little funny. I think that if you have like a beard it's silly. You- it's silly. I feel like if you have a beard, you should give off like mad dad energy. I mean, probably <laughs> that dad centric, you know. Yeah, you, when you when you have a beard, when core. you when when you talk, it, the short beard. Uh, yeah, when yeah. you get Viking style, you know, you know what type of person they should be. They should be rough and tough, and you know, one of those one real of those, dudes. One of those big old lumberjacks in the middle of the <laughs> just just cranking. <laughs> Just, dude, have you ever chopped wood? Uh, like once or twice, like not nothing serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's up? Like me? just like a couple logs, you know. I um, I I don't even know how the fuck this happened to me, but I uh at like a graduation party or something, right? One uh-huh. year, we were super young, uh, when we were in like in high school. Uh, I I don't know why I ended up doing this, but at some point. I think I just started chopping wood. Like I don't know. <laughs> you just yeah, in like the at in like the middle of the night, like literally just like fucking, just try to just just chopping splitting wood. logs in the middle of the night for no reason. And honestly, I got kind of into it. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, was, you went full lumberjack. I'm mode? not gonna lie to you. It was kind of sick. What's I don't know what it was. I think it was just me. And this blade and all I got, I'm just going. You know, it. I get it because like it's kind of sick. And all just like doing it, it's yeah, sure, it's fucking heavy. Fucking getting that shit going though, it's oh yeah, it's a good workout. It's I, a crazy. I workout mean, too. I, you know what I do like every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think that it's really cool because I'm sitting there. I'm like, yo, I'm like cutting wood. Dude, I'm like shit. making things out of wood. <laughs> I fucking take the staples. And I'm like. I built a thing. Alex, I built a lot of things. Alex, you could build things at home now for like gags. I mean, we can yes, make like I a can, funny table. Like we, we can could, make we can, we make, can make the hookah table. We can make a podcast table. We should probably do that one first. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking Get out of because because we're because mo- <laughs> we're moving, so we want to set up like a place in yeah. the next uh, house to really uh, 
do the podcast at. Yeah, what's it? Get it, give it its own space. Yeah, I mean, it could be whatever, but we have some ideas for it. I think yeah, it's going to be kind of fun. I'm super psyched about the next place. I'm excited to see what happens, even though I have to get a smaller room. Yeah. It's very sad. Rest in peace. Rip. But the people who are getting the big room are having to share it. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Bunk beds. I, I can't believe Woo! Spark and Kevin have to share a bed. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> At least they can, you know, it, I thought they would go they, for a king. They went for a queen. Like, they went for a queen. They wanted to be real close. Yeah, I think they were just like, you know, I want to be really, I want to be there with my When we make the most out of this. Yeah, let's let's make it a thing. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, you'll, we'll cuddle a little bit, you know. Uh, just get really cozy. So, 420 did come and go, it huh? It did. Mm-hmm. Uh how is your 420 dog? Um, how is how is your Hitler's birthday? I I think I started Hitler's birthday at like five o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it was like five a.m. Portland time. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, I, I just got back from Portland. Uh, <laughs> funny. Um, so it's like 5 a.m. because I'm jet lagged, right? It's the literally the next day after I get there. Yeah. Bought the weed the night before. <laughs> uh huh. Ready. Ready to go. Five in the Locked morning. And I wake up because I'm a fucking animal who wakes up at eight anyways because uh-huh. my bitch ass job. <laughs> Hate that shit. And over there, that's like that's five. Yeah, that's five. So I'm laying around for like an hour, right? Just being like, oh, God, I want to sleep, but I can't. And I go. Buddy said, it's time to go. What if? <laughs> you know? Like, you ever do that? You ever just, like, kind of, like... started now? Yeah, you ever just, like, lay down and just, like, this is... All of a sudden, you're just, like... It's a holiday. Maybe it is a holiday. Um, I got to have a... I have to have a grand Your, your Portland trip was really full of all these... Uh, a lot of wrestling. Oh, dude, it was so much wrestling, bro. Holy fuck. Literally from the moment we got there to the moment I left, just the whole bitch. As soon as we actually, probably the day before I left, as soon as we hit WrestleMania 12, we were like, we're done. <laughs> but you also went and saw live wrestling. Oh, I did. That's what I wanted to talk about, dude. Yeah. Bring, I I, I kind of had a feeling. I, I was Dog, like, it's. Because we didn't talk about it. No, really. we didn't. We haven't talked about it yet. It was fucking sick. It was sick? It was fucking sick. What's Dope. it called? Those dudes and the girls all did a grand fucking job. Was there anybody big? I mean, oh, you mean, do you mean like physic- physically? Physically, no, yes. Like there were big famous. <laughs> um, there's like apparently there was one guy who's like uh, pretty well off, pretty well known. Um, but I was texting the boys from this fucking wrestling event because one of the dudes' names was Malcolm Fucking Flex. And I'm just mad I didn't mm. fucking think of that shit first. Mm. That shit's genius, bro. But you know bro. who did think of it? Oh Me, my God. Malcolm Ecstasy. I mean, fuck you. What's it called? <laughs> Leader of the Poon Slayers. Leader of the Poon Slayers reporting in. <laughs> bing, bing. Brr, brr. Pick up the phone. <laughs> it's me, ya boy. Pick up the phone. <laughs> Dude, it, shit was great, though. Um, and it, honestly, it's, it's kind of sick, too, because the people there – were obviously regulars. Like yeah. they were obviously people who went to all that shit. They, they saw all this shit mm-hmm. going on. They've all they, they've not they've like been a TV there. thing. No, they've been there. What's it? That's just their local thing. That's that's their shit. What's it called? There's um there's this tag team. Uh their name is like C four. Yeah. Literally they kept doing C four chants in the crowd. Like the dude would stand on the fucking oh, they seat. Knew. Just C four C four just back and forth. The whole time. Man, that's hard. Dude, those motherfuckers love that shit. What about, uh, I know you told us about the uh, YouTube star. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it might be a bit. I'm not sure. I want it to be a the bit. The influencer. Yeah, I think it's a I think it's a bit. What was he influencing? So, um, it's, it, uh, what's up? The guy is Brian Zane from uh, Wrestling With Regret, right? So, this is a, a wrestling YouTube channel. I He's he's good. He's big. He's a really like a really big dude in that space. Yeah. Yeah. There's not the, a lot of backyard wrestlers on YouTube right now. It's not backyard wrestling. Like it's. Uh, I'm kidding. Yeah. That's really cool. But underground the, wrestling. Under. Is that a better <laughs> term? <laughs> no. <laughs> there is underground wrestling. But you it's, gotta give me something. It's Spanish though. I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> The Nacho d- yeah. Libre versus uh, Antonio Banderas. I don't know. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> but the thing, um, so he's wearing this like pure white jumpsuit, right? And in big red letters on the f- like on the front, it says the influencer, Brian Zane. And you see oh, that. You just like walk into a place and you see a person with that shit on. Even if you know who he is, you're kind of sitting there going, is this a bit? Mm, I don't think I, so. I, I hope it's a bit. I hope it's a bit. I think it's probably a bit. Maybe like a little bit. I hope so. Yeah, and then on the back, it's just got this like YouTube play button. And it just All right, says but YouTube how long? Celebrity. How long is it a bit? I don't know, man. What's it called? These people like live their lives wrestling in these is, personas. Wrestling is real. We like how long can you go on stage week after week after week after week and be this person and not just become that person? Yeah, I mean, what's it called? You kind of have the. You're gonna have to like have a really defined separation the de- separation of but character a lot of these you. people don't that, i mean that's not that's not entirely true what's it called people the people ne- who got out <laughs> what's it called for sure did they, people definitely know like they're performers at the end of the day they're actors like oh it's i like get for it for real a thing i get it um sometimes yeah sometimes some shit does, but like also there are some people that are so committed to the bit that that's just what they do like there's this dude um in AEW. Uh, his name is MJF, right? You mean like Gold Dust? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, Gold Dust is also an AEW, but like that's just a, a separate thing. Um, but MJF is a dude who just plays like a giant raving asshole who tells you that he's better than you. That is that character does not turn off. He continues to do that in any situation where wrestling's brought up. Anywhere. Any such anywhere, any fan, any interaction, always, no breaks, and I really respect that shit. Um, I think recently he might have uh, kind of eased it off a little bit, or I wasn't really paying attention to the thing that I saw. But dude is like fucking. He's really fucking talented. He's really fucking talented, and he's young too. He's like our age. Damn, he's young. What's it called? It's actually a super cool thing that's been happening more lately because of AEW. They've been just giving like a lot of young wrestlers more chances. Yeah, and that's been really sick to see. Man, we went to high school with somebody who went to the wrestling <laughs> sphere. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be super funny if he made it. Now he ended up quitting and like just I guess he does MMA now or something. So, I mean that's cool. I mean yeah. I I know a guy who did like a bunch of martial arts stuff and now lives in Japan. I, I mean you know. Oh yeah, Ramsey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He just yeah, does, I forgot about that. Yeah, he yeah. moved to Japan. He just, just moved to Japan. Just to do martial arts. He just does that now. That's cool, though. That's, yo, That's I, sick. That, like I said like in one of the previous episodes, dude, fucking do your shit, man. Live your life. Yeah, do what you want to do. That shit's sick. That's a good one. Yeah, man. I love it. I love that shit. Did you do anything else on your 420? What, Honestly, did, you, what did you eat? What was your meal? Um, what was your 420 feast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I wasn't there with you. So do you want to like, know what my four twenty feast was? Oh no, this is gonna be sad, isn't it? Mm-mm, it's gonna be really funny. Oh, what is it? A za. Oh, you got the za. I got the classic za. Mm. We love a classic mm. za. Amazing. Yeah, it just was like unfortunately a little crispy. <laughs> oh, they burned it a little bit. It's just dad. Where from? Uh, it's like this take and bake pizza place. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the person who fucked it up was us. <laughs> it was really sad. Damn. Yeah. It's fine. I retried them before I left, and it was actually pretty dece. It's actually like a pretty dece pizza. It, it's good. What's it called? I we keep finding. Uh, I always go and I, I go and like find some good ones every once in a while. Right. Yeah. Like you never went to it. Uh, but there's this like fucking. A deep dish pizza chain in like the midwest called giordano's oh man it's some chicago deep dish apparently mm, uh ryan mustache man yeah he when he worked for uno's in oh yeah chicago yeah he yeah. did see he should be funnier like he w- guys he was not fucking funny at all he was really dry. He was a long day after work. He was really dry. He was really depressed. He was ta- he was talking about oh. how he was drinking, talking about how he was going to go more, drink more. Oh, dude, that night was really funny because I was drinking the beer at the bar, 
and I had ordered chips and queso mm -hmm. from, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. from the lady. And remember, the lady next to us just goes, like, it, it had been a minute. Sudden, it had been a minute. In the middle but, of nowhere. But we weren't talking to her. We were just sitting at the bar waiting. Doing we were other shit. having some beers, talking. Um, and this girl just goes, where's your fucking queso? She was drunk, bro. They were fucked up. That whole group was fucked up. They yeah, were they kept on like going, going to out the to the car to, to hit like a dab pen <laughs> and like come back and <laughs> just fucking <laughs> drink some more. Gotta, and then they're like, "How yeah. about that fucking game?" And all of us went, "We don't watch sports." I, I couldn't even tell you what the fuck they were talking. What is about. sport ball? What sport ball? I love sport ball. <laughs> and My sport ball is beating people up, uh, listening to heavy music. Yeah, and I was just like, "Who is this woman? And why does she care about the?" The length of how long my case is taking. I, I'm not caring. It was random. And then, shit, but then, as soon as I said like that to myself, oh. I went, "But where the fuck is my queso?" And then it like almost immediately showed back. Like she came over, and was like, "Hey, your, your case is about to come out." I was like, "Sick!" Like a minute and or two And then it came later. out cold. Yeah, <laughs> it came out cold. What was it doing that whole time? It was just chilling. It was just chilling. You know, they out. just like scoot that shit out. They too. just fucking forgot. Like about all they it, had man. to do was scoop into a bowl. Throw some like jalapenos on it and put chips, the stale chips that they this, had around oh it. Oh God, those chips were gross. <laughs> them bitches were stale. We love a good industry bar dinner. Oh, dude, those chips. I just suck. thought it would be safe to go chips and queso. Like, how it's do you like, how do you like fuck it up? It's like bone swings and an Applebee's, dog. You just don't do it. It's but, bad. But, for it, you. but it's just queso dip, dog. How do you fuck it up? It was a bar. Like it wasn't a. You shouldn't trust bar queso. It's just queso. Bro, it's never just queso. I literally made queso downstairs in a microwave, and it's fine. Listen, that's different. You know what's in all the stuff. In the industry bar, you have no clue what's going on. You yeah. don't know what that place is. You hope to, you know what that place is. But honest to God, you don't know what's back there. They, oh, could, be, they could be killing Oh, yeah, people. what's the blue cheese queso? Yeah, we kind of just left some queso in the fridge for a little while. Got got a little moldy, but it has a good flavor. It's got a really nice zing. It's to it's it. it's uh, very complex it's and got a, hearty. It's got some funk to it, you know. Mm, you taste it, it gives you a little ah, it bite back. <laughs> <laughs> you bite the gorgonzola, the gorgonzola bite back. Oh my god, it's sitting here causing a domestic. But yeah, this woman tells me this, and I'm like, who the fuck are you? But also, where's my queso, dude? <laughs> Why? And then the guys over here just like, oh, yeah, don't mind her. She's going off again. <laughs> Literally. Just being like, yep, she's fucked up. But it's really funny because when me and Mahmood went to this bar for the first time, we just, like, out the corner of our eyes see fucking Need for Speed Carbon and the arcade about this. machine. I think we talked about Did that. We t we, I think we might have talked about it in the last episode going to Mazzy's. Well, it's that's true. We could have done it there. But fuck, man. As soon as I saw that Need for Speed Carbon machine – fantastic and you guys missed it we went and streamed need for speed carbon <laughs> on stream i can't believe all on the mood stream mm. at twitch.tv underscore or indra underscore ex sorry <laughs> i'm sorry. having a time <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> it's been a minute i doing, haven't had to talk for this long like you're doing this your best for a minute. you're doing your best i'm pulling myself together i had i had a week off yeah that week off though Mm, but yeah, so off. we fucking played Need for Speed Carbon on my stream, and uh, in the middle of it, like loading the game up, I look at Alex and I go, "Man, it would really suck to get DMCA'd uh, by because I was playing this game." No, and you said that about Pokemon when we were switching to Pokemon. No, 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 no. no. I was definitely saying that during Need for Speed. Cause oh that, that yeah, because the there was some music and yeah. stuff. And then I did, I did get DMCA'd. the next, the next, like, the, the, next the next day. day. Two strikes for menu music. I, I'm just like and, guys. And then what can I do? I can't do it. And then he like asked about it, and they're like, "Yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's we go. can't do that." One of them's gone. The other one's still there. There was two. There was two of them on one on uh, on one video. They can it, do that. It was for different stuff. They can both do their thing. What was the other one? Uh, it, it was still problem? menu music. What's it called? Both of those songs were menu. I think that's why you can't buy that game anymore. Is because. Like, they've lost the licensing for, like, all that shit. Yeah. Like, that's got to be the reason why you can't buy that game anymore. Yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, that's probably why you can't buy any of those, like, most of those old games anymore. Yeah, they have to rebuy the licenses to distribute them. Yeah, you can't do that shit. Once they go, eventually, it's not worth it, for sure. 
Some of those songs are expensive. I bet they are. What's it called? Because honestly, especially once those contracts expire, they probably jack up the price. Oh yeah, for they're it. like, bro, you made so much money on this fucking game. Obviously, I should get paid more. And on one hand, yes, yes, they should probably, probably. So, uh, how do you feel about streaming on Twitch versus YouTube then? After experiences like that, where you're just like playing a game and like I know Twitch will sometimes just mute your streams and like let you move on. Yeah, um, what's it called? And um, and they'll be like, hey, we took care of it for you, but like, stop doing that. Stop it. <laughs> they're like, they just like kind of like slap your hand. They're Don't like, do that. what are you doing? Don't do it. They're like, don't do it that often. Stop. You know better. I, um... But YouTube just goes ahead and they're yeah, saying... Man, that... And they say, hey, whatever money you make on this stream, uh, the revenue goes to these people that played this five seconds of menu music. Yeah, man, that shit kind of bit. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we don't time, really it make... It doesn't really matter. Yeah, we don't make money on it, but, but I'm talking about longevity-wise. Like, yeah, like I mean, that like, has over to be, like, term, a thing like, that... Over the long term, I don't know if I'd be, like, super jazzed if that, like... But it really, it wasn't even, like, a fucking... Um, it wasn't a. Uh, it was it like wasn't a, a strike. It was, they were warnings. That's what it was. It was like two. Yeah, but claims still mean oh, that yeah, the money, the money, too. the money from the revenue yeah, 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 on yeah, it yeah, yeah. still goes yeah, to yeah, the yeah, people yeah. who claimed it. Yeah, if like long term, if that was actually like a thing that was making me money, yeah, I'd probably be pretty upset about it. That would suck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But especially I'm talking for, about in the long term. I'm talking about like streaming on Twitch versus YouTube. In the long term, you know what? I, I this know. Is you... actually, no, this is actually really. Uh, this is actually really fucking uh, convenient because did you see that they're updating their? Uh, they're thinking about updating their like partner terms and like the the stuff in there. I saw Twitch was renegotiating that yeah. they're gonna go from uh, seventy five or seventy thirty to fifty fifty in revenue from streams or money earned off of subs. Yeah, well, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I thought they already were fifty fifty. No, it was seventy thirty. Uh seventy to the creators, thirty to Twitch. Yeah, dude, that's fucked. That's and crazy. they're going to fifty fifty. That's crazy. So that they can make twenty percent more. Yeah. That's a lot of mm. I I mean I mean, there's a lot of things on both sides, though, because I don't really know how YouTube's payout is anyway, because all their stuff is on clicks. I couldn't. Yeah, I have no it, idea. It's all uh, AdSense. Mm -hmm. I mean, or but, it's a lot of AdSense. I mean, that's true. What's it called? But also, YouTube, ad, YouTube they, ads? They have are... those memberships, though, yeah, which, which that, is that sort that of helps. like a sub. But I just don't feel there's as much incentive to buy or to buying that versus twitch or what, what you get off of subs on twitch i think when it comes to something like that it's a lot about the ecosystem right because twitch's ecosystem is really embedded in its community while um in youtube live streaming is very new and it seems very uh, especially it seems like if on youtube it's just kind of like they spent a lot of money to get like a bunch of people and then like really didn't do anything yeah so that's like the whole thing right is that oh you're talking it, about youtube right mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, on one hand, like, on one hand, Twitch, right? But Twitch is also doing a lot of things now, like, fucking... Going it's to also 50, very specific. It's money. also very specific, though. Um, Twitch is just streaming, you know? Yeah, Twitch is just streaming. So it's, like, yeah. if you're looking for streaming, it's really easy to find streaming. Yeah, streaming I feel like YouTube, it YouTube doesn't is, show streaming you have to look very streaming. evilly. No, you e have to easily. look for streaming to find streaming on YouTube, honestly. But also... Uh, YouTube searching is way easier. It's way yeah. YouTube is just a search engine. It's way easier to find the To Be Decided podcast if you type that in versus mm -hmm. going to Twitch and trying to see if one of us are live. Not even that. Just <laughs> like going to the podcast tab and just like you just like scroll uh, through that's true. to, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's to cool. see who's streaming podcasts, um, where it's not as friendly to that because people really have to want to look for that. Um, that's true. Yeah, because isn't yeah there is a podcast ta uh like thing tag on. But if we got hit the algorithm just right on whatever we make, um, it could shoot us to the top of podcast search, you know, or something like that, and that's how YouTube or uh, things get picked up on YouTube a lot. I feel. Oh, I thought you were talking it's, about Twitch. It, it, like, it's really have an it's really like search. That. It's search. Yeah, it's a search engine. Engine like bullshit. It's, ju it's just Google. It's just Google for videos. Yeah. Uh, and it's crazy because uh, 
I think I was watching Ludwig was talking to Susan Wojcicki. Yeah, like the CEO or something. Yeah, yeah. And uh, apparently all the YouTube workers also get stock in Alphabet, <laughs> which is Google's umbrella yeah. company. Yeah. I think it's nice. Nice. Maybe I'd go work for YouTube. YouTube's kind of sick. Um, I got to work at YouTube and then make YouTube money. And it's really funny because Ludwig kept on going like, are you watching this stuff that's on YouTube? And she keeps going like, listen, if I had, if my job was as simple as sit down, watch YouTube and like make all this shit happen. Like (laughs) I I can't, I don't, I would love to, (laughs) Uh, but apparently Susan Google started in like Susan's garage. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's cool. And worked with Alphabet with Google as it as a startup until it became what it was. And then when YouTube was uh acquired by them, mm-hmm. uh she went on to be CEO. <clears throat> cool. It's just things that you never hear from this person. Yeah. Which I, I think it's really good for like an influencer platform. Uh for their CEO to kind of represent that a little bit more and come out and like do these things. I think she should do it more. I think she should have done it way earlier. Yeah. Um, it is cool to see like the CEO of this company, but actually, also like, the person who's doing the thing is a person who's contracted by YouTube to work specifically for YouTube and his, in his content. So, uh, you know, I hate to say like how much of it is like pre-scripted or like pre-looked at, like mm-hmm. going all through all the stuff. You know, he's talking to a CEO of like a major sure, company, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like a really major company. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like you know, he's paid by them. It's true. So like, you know, it's like really hard. I see what you're saying. What's the quality? I you- I love I love Ludwig and his content. It's it's all really good, mm-hmm. and he's like a really solid dude. Yeah. I, I don't have any problems with them but it's like uh how authentic can it be to an extent that the person that she does let reach out to her and talk to her is a person who's paid by google and youtube to make content for them Uh, like on one hand yeah but on the other hand it kind of makes sense for those that person to be that who does that though right i get it no i totally get it it. makes sense like if he has a really big platform yeah it it and he's a pretty genuine person so it just kind of makes sense yeah no i totally get it i just said that you know as like a devil's advocate thing yeah Uh, because i was kind of fluffing up susan wojiki being like super cool but also just giving her a little being like being like yeah you know but also this like also skepticism skepticism's good yeah, yeah. Love skepticism. Some healthy skepticism. I didn't even talk about what I did for 420. Let's, yeah, talk, get, let's get away from all this serious talk and talk about smoking weed. <laughs> <sighs> Editor, play the weed music. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's really funny because when we were, before we started recording this podcast, I was like, thumbnail's easy. I already know what it is. Me and you are just going to be Cheech and Chong. Very basic. I Very also easy. need you to take off your hood so that we can get a good thumbnail. What's up? What's up? Oh, he mask off. <laughs> mask off. <laughs> Go off, King. What's poppin'? He's here. I'm sleepy. Oh, dude, I've been up. I've been up. Oh, dude, I have an early ass day tomorrow, too. Oh, me. It's not even nine yet. It's not. It's like, um, it's, we, are, we are doing a real late podcast today, though. Yeah. Honestly, it's just kind of what ended up happening. We just had to, I was gone for a week and we just have to, we have to put it out. We have to make it. Well, we want to, we want to do it. Yeah, so. no, we want to do it. That's like the thing is like the, I say have to, but like, I want to do the thing. Yeah. The have to is so I do it. Yeah, for sure. Um, My 420, I spent the day working mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as you do. Yeah, I did. It was, it was in the middle of the day or it was in the middle of the week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I uh, then... Went home to one roommate being at work all day. Yep. Till pretty late. And the other one locked in his room with COVID. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was like, damn, big dogs out of state. He's Sag. smoking up legal weed. I've been smoking up. I was 
uh, I, oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't say when I ended that day. It was like 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. I want you to know. Huh? 17 hours. Just like fried. The, oh, God, dude. It got to a point. I was, I, at the end of the day, I was like, I just have a headache now. <laughs> they, so uh, dehydrated. It's funny because uh, then I came home, and then before – I get out at 4.30. Sure, yeah. So it's already twenty. It's already 10 minutes late. Mm-hmm. By the time I get home, it's like it's 4.50. Like it's <laughs> almost 5. So I'm like, shit. Well, I, it should at least go out and at least make tonight a little bit fun. Sure, yeah. I go to the grocery store, get some snacks, mm-hmm. cop it. Come home, Spark comes out of his room, goes... I got a text from the clinic. COVID free. Yeah. And then I said, get your ass down here. We're smoking some weed. <laughs> he was COVID free. He was COVID free, man. As his, as his reward for becoming COVID free on 420, he gets to be baked on the couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was quarantining. So um, he was locked in his room for a minute. I uh, Dude, it was super funny because like the day I left or the day before I left, um or no really the day that spark came home and said told us he had covid the next morning on his door he had a piece of paper like taped to it do you remember what it said no am fucked stay away k thanks <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even read it to be honest that I shit just was, knew it was i up. saw that and shit. he stuck it on there with a band-aid it was so <laughs> he's the band-aid because there was no tape Dude, that shit is... He's like, I can make this work. There was literally tape downstairs. I bought tape. (laughs) He used a Band-Aid. It's so funny, though. I I was... Am fucked. Am fucked. Stay out. (laughs) I thought that shit was great. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Honestly, it's just some classic Spark. And then me and Spark just get... I thought Jordan came down, too. No, that was 421. My 421 was way crazier than my 420. Oh, yeah. Everyone came out for 421. I don't know why Thursday was the day everyone was like, yo. What's up? Thursday. <laughs> Woo. It's like. This is coming from people who have like the killer days on Tuesday. That, I mean, that's true. We have some Listen, killer Tuesdays. Look, man, I can have a killer any day because <laughs> I'm irresponsible. Very true. Very true. <laughs> I love just getting like a random text message from a mood. Hey, I think I realized the problem. I don't have self control. (laughs) 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 I'm just like, (laughs) shit, buddy. I. I can't help you with that one. I want you to know, I was baked as shit watching wrestling, (laughs) playing Pokemon, and eating a pizza. I was like seven. Like I was just. Oh, it was. I I was a child. I was a child for a minute. Goo goo gaga. I was just a baby. I was having a grand fucking time. That's funny. Didn't think about dick. Uh, you don't have to think about dick. Mm-mm, no thoughts. Just fun. That's grand, funny. Grand old time. Yeah, but I, su- I suddenly had a sober moment where I just went, damn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God. Like, I can go from like, oh, shit. <laughs> You see, like, the eyes go from, like, this really glossy to just straight up. Whoa, yeah. my like, eyesight's realigned. I have just realized this was a terrible mistake. <laughs> I can see. I can fight. That's oh, only God. for Kevin. Mm-hmm. That's funny. <laughs> um, you guys were fucking watching the Fairly Odd Parents the other day, right? Yeah, was that a thing? Yeah, we've been watching Fairly Odd Parents. How the fuck Danny, did that happen? Danny Phantom. Kevin just turns it on. You're right. Kevin is just a child at heart. I love that for him. Yeah. Like, Sunday, we just hung out. Also, smoked. You can see a constant in my life. You can see uh, You can see some consistency here. Uh, and we played Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was great. But then Kevin was like, got to play SSX Tricky. Come on. Give me SSX Tricky. He was like begging for it. Yeah, dude. Cause, like, so I did it. I it took Kevin's like it took like five minutes. It. Kevin's been talking about playing SSX Tricky for like probably the entire time that I've known him. So the fact that he finally got to do it, it's probably pretty good for him. Yeah. And he fi- <laughs> so I like downloaded he finally it. Finished and the Secret he, of the and he, too. <laughs> yeah. He got to watch Secret of the Ooze. He finally got to finish it. He, we watched it because Mahmood also too fried. Could not play D&D. 
Oh, yeah, that, was a, that was a rough day. Dude, a- the, the 420 episode. We're just bringing out the 420 episodes. No, it's just me being really baked. <laughs> My 420s or episodes are just... Yeah, I got like fried. This is my first 420. Welcome. Most likely, most likely. I couldn't even I couldn't say. <laughs> Actually. I don't know. But uh yeah, so me and Spark just like sat there. We watched the Batman movie. Yeah, weren't you saying some shit like I remember you got into a fucking it argument with my mid. brother the other day about it. You're no, because he was like <laughs> it was better than the Dark Knight and I was like it was mid. <laughs> <laughs> I love you just looking at a, <laughs> looking at this child and being like, "Nah, dog, you're wrong." And I was like, "No, the Dark Knight was sick. That's like, f- it's not better than that." That's super funny. Uh, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, I didn't hate it. Yeah, I probably never gonna watch it. <laughs> it was fine. It, yeah, it's cool. It was fine. I'm glad. I'm glad. You don't really have to watch it, but I enjoyed it. It wasn't. It was really long. It was three hours long. Yeah. Three yeah, it's hours. a three-hour movie. But it was really crazy because me and Spark were watching it and we we're like, damn, he really ain't like Bruce Wayne through any of this movie. It's just all Batman. Yeah, it's all Full just throttle. Ju- yeah, so if you're like into that, it's like him. You know, like, they never do Batman live action. Like, they don't ever do just Batman live action. It's, like, there is, there's is, moments of him being Bruce Wayne, but it's not really impactful enough in his, like, personal stuff. Yeah. It's it's him in the Batsuit majority of the time. I, I don't even, like, remember. Or not that even character. that. It's, like, it's just, like, it's, like, 90% of the time he's in costume. I don't know. That's cool. That's a direction. So that's different. And it was good. It was good. And it, it wasn't horrible. Yeah. Um, the Riddler was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I um, I know, I I've been waiting on this for a while. Um, did you ever see a couple weeks? So a couple weeks ago was the Masters, right? Oh yeah, like the golf tournament. Yeah, the golf tournament. Yeah. Did you see that? Waffle House and Adidas put out a fucking collab shoe around the Masters, like a golf shoe. Why didn't you tell me? Dog, I've been waiting for this fucking moment. Look at this goddamn image. <laughs> Whoa, that's so sick. It's so funny. They're I They're just that cleats, shit. though? Dude, straight up golf shoes. <laughs> Damn, they like I can't wear them shits out? I mean, you can. They're just golf shoes. <laughs> no, because golf shoes have, like, they're cleats. Are they? Yeah, they're cleats. Damn. Maybe, maybe they're not. I have no idea. Damn, dude, I saw that this shit. This is an image. I was, yeah, it's just an image. Damn. I, I had it saved. I want you. How long has this been saved? It's been saved since the seventh. It is now the twenty seventh. I've been holding onto this for three weeks. <laughs> funny. <laughs> that's funny. That's dope, though. Right, dude. That's crazy. How the fuck? It and they also have fucking like waffle like dude they have like waffle print on the shoes underneath the soles it's fucking syrup like they yeah, really Yeah, that's drippy. They did the whole fucking thing. That's funny. That's super funny. I don't know who fucking came up with that but they deserve a raise. All right. So um I'll have to go back and find these pictures again later. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I been holding on to this Twitter, right? Mm-hmm. That I've been wanting to show you. Uh, it's not a uh, rap out of context, right? It's not no. Chief Keith saving Ukraine. No. God, I love it. It's image. just called chaotic nightclub photos. What does that mean? This just sounds like some Nima shit. What? So it's just like. <laughs> what? It's just chaotic nightclub photos. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> and. Oh, bro! Wait, Are wait, you... wait, wait! No, you gotta. We gotta see him together. I, th- this oh, is this fault. is an experience. This is, oh, it is an experience. So, like, yeah, yeah. Look, look Dude. at, look at this, look at this lady. This woman's face is just. Look at this guy. Why is it? Why is one eye just like shut? Hey, man, they're drunk. They're fucked up. Mm-mm. They are. They are. Oh, dog! Now. Look at that big oh. old dude. <laughs> look at her. Oh man, she's just. Mm, she's just throw. <laughs> He's eyes he's, straight just he's too big. He is too big for you to be throwing that ass on. I promise you, you're gonna bounce off. 
It's just so wild. Look, look at this man. Dude, dude's giant. It's fun. Look, he's got like fucking. He's got like. <laughs> oh no, no! I thought he had shitty sideburns. It's just the side of his face. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's wild. Oh, dude, he big. He big. And she's so tiny. <laughs> But you probably be tiny looking. You probably look tiny. And be pretty, pretty decent. Doug, just <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, bro. How drunk are you? He's fucked. How absolutely shit faced are you to make out with like the fucking, uh, the fucking V for Vendetta mask? How so? So for context, for anybody just listening to the audio, I don't know if that's oh, like yeah. ever gonna be a thing. Maybe one of these guys. But we're, right now we're looking at this Twitter called chaotic nightclub photos. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it would probably really help if you're looking at the video right now. <laughs> hey, Hey, open your phone. Like turn on your phone. Just to open it up. Look at the thing. Like, look at whatever you're, look at whatever you're, but, reading, but you're basically it's just this really drunk guy and this girl who has a V for vendetta mask on the back side of her head, not the front side where no, no, her no, face no. is. Nope. On the back side. So and the guy is just like, arms around her waist like making out with the mask oh what is the arms around her waist too? Yeah. oh my god this is so funny he thinks he's going oh in. no 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 no. what's up there's no way fucking the friends are like posing in the background no way dude there's no way there's like a bunch of people who are psyched to see that happen that's probably a giant meme but it is chaotic for sure dog look at that <gasps> oh my god <laughs> Is she also wearing a V for Vendetta mask? She, she no. <laughs> she just looks like a V for Vendetta mask. <laughs> but why does this man look so angry, dude? Oh, dude, he's so old, and he's just thinking. This girl is just grinding up on this old man, and he's I fall, like, I, I swear it, those damn kids step on my lawn one more goddamn time. I'm plowing their mother right here on this dance floor. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> damn, he's been holding that in for a while. How many times do you think they ran on this fucking yard? Dude, there's just so many chaotic pictures. I do. I, I love the... <laughs> <laughs> what is Ice JJ Fish doing over here? Is that Ice? Oh. No, no, it's just some dude. It's just some guy. It, it looks like Ice JJ Fish. <laughs> He's just, I don't know what it is about like how fuck like, this lanky ass dude just like holding this lady's hips at like four feet in front of him. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it is. I would love for like once a month to just like pick up on like chaotic nightclub photos yeah just like i want to check like in a monthly check-in i just want to like, check in see what's happening i hope they keep doing their thing because mm -hmm. this too. they're doing great they're doing the lord's work dude just smashed oh, bro that is smashed oh man just oh i hope somebody cares about them i hope somebody cares about them oh man that was also a fun thing to say for a while oh no there's videos no are there this one's just projectile vomiting i'm not showing this one on the screen Ugh, by the way gross yuck disgusting dude <gasps> oh my god he's about, wedgie. To, he's about to power bomb this woman into the <laughs> goddamn ground bro that's crazy she needs to tuck her head asap holy crap i mean it looks like she's got like a fucking bun on so maybe that could like help a little bit with the impact but she's for sure getting whiplash no matter what she, he's he's doing her from behind <laughs> he got her he got her behind his head. This photo looks like somebody unlocked the secret zone in Tony Hawk. <laughs> oh, no. We crashed in the floor. Now, <laughs> but now it's conveniently a skate ramp. <laughs> Woo! He just did a 900. There's a whole other layer underneath. God. Wait, that game's fun. I'm glad that you brought that back. That shit's super fun. Yeah, that... that it, it's been fun playing Tony Hawk and stuff, man. It's really nostalgic and really... uh. It's really easy for me to just, just stop really and do. Just like a just turn off your brain. Just have a good time. In fact, I would really like to go play some Tony Hawk right now. I mean, what's it called? You can eventually. It's a little short. It's a little short. We can do a little bit longer. We can hang out for a little bit more. Yeah, we should. We should we, hang we, out. We, we haven't done a thing in for a I, 
<clears throat> I want to talk. I would about love to do a, like a long one one of these days. I but wrote, I wrote, but I, I need some stuff for it. I, I, I need to prepare a little bit. If if we did like a two hour podcast, that'd be a funny day. We need a. Yeah, I would. I would like to. I would have. To, I would like to have hour, like Collins. That's, that two I would like to have practice. Collins. That's that's some. Prep Maybe what if we did like a live stream podcast for like two hours? You might one of these days. Maybe maybe just just like see what happens. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Who cares? Um, but I wanted to talk about this. All right. Because me and you, while we were out, saw this thing. I don't really remember a ton of it. I tr- I hope to God that you do. But do you remember? When we watched a fucking like, um, oh no, I remember what it is now. Did you do you remember when we were out at dinner the other night and we watched a Republican attack ad that involved portraying the governor as Mao Zedong? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they were like, "You're voting for Brian Kemp, more like voting for Mao Zedong." It's crazy. <laughs> we were like in a Mexican restaurant or some shit. That is like, so funny. <laughs> I forgot about that. that was, right? That's insane. I just love that because nobody was watching the TV but me, and I was like, they just compared Brian Kemp to <laughs> Mao Zedong on the TV. I literally went, what? <laughs> Turn was, around. <laughs> it was funny as shit. Dude, there's some absolutely crazy Republican ads that they fucking put out, and people, and those people get elected. Do it's so funny we, because it was a, Repu- a Republican versus another Republican. Yeah, Brian Kemp's a Republican, and he was just another Republican calling this other guy a communist. Oh, Literally, he, bows they do like the whole thing, like put the horns on him, make him look like Satan. It's in. Especially here in the deep South, dog. Oh, dude, the only deeper you can get is the swamp. Yeah, man, we have that too. That's true. Go to the Okie Pinokie. Those boys. Are crazy, or dude. worse, or even worse, Florida. <gasps> I shudder at the gasp. Thought. I shudder at the thought. <laughs> I. Um, it's funny. I actually kind of like Florida and the people there because they're really, they're really crazy. Yeah, they get, they get wild. I thought there was a fucking thing. I, I don't want to live in Florida. You don't want to live in Florida. But going, going to Florida and like fucking around with the locals. Yeah, you want to go fuck around. You want to go do that for like a birthday, just like fuck off to Florida. Just like find like a random house party and be like, yeah, it's my fucking birthday, dude. Let's get that shit going. Let's get that shit going. Where's the jet ski, dog? But I want to fucking talk. Okay, look, I know we're on this, but I want to go back because remember when we found brian kemp's uh like fucking ads from the last election i think it's been four years right it was yeah. like 2018 something like it that. might be it might have been a 2017 ad going in for the 2020 uh 2018 year right yeah. might have been something like that but do you remember how like he was marketing himself as being politically incorrect like on purpose <laughs> Like he literally said, like one time he just goes, "Yeah, I got a, I drive a big truck, so I can get off work and in the afternoon round up some illegals." Oh no, no, I know yeah, exactly I said that. what you're talking about. <laughs> he literally goes, "Yeah," with the shotgun I said that. in his hand. It's crazy. Cocks the sh- shotgun. Or I don't think he cocks it, but he sits there with the shotgun in hand and he's like, "I drive a pickup truck, so I can round up illegals." What they voted for that guy? Dog, he's in office right now. He's currently the governor. That shit's insane. <laughs> like, left or right, I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> That's crazy. You really shouldn't let the I run I, I don't, I don't like, guy. I don't like getting into politics. I'm just saying that the ads are fucking insane, bro. Yeah. They are just, they are crazy. Like, I would, obviously. I would love to make a video just going, like, watching some of, like, the craziest ones on both sides. Honestly, dog, let's do that. It'll be funny. It doesn't really have to be like super political, but just rather like than just like shit. watching it and just being like, "Wow, this is fucking crazy." Who does this? What is going on right now? And we'll have like Jordan gather up the best political ads, I'm so once- so so that we so we're not we're not already like pre watched it. Uh, we, guys, we want some genuine reactions. Well, so you guys also, if it's before next week when you guys see this, you should also send us stuff. You send guys, us some. Uh, yeah, if you guys see anything like political that, that'd be ads that you guys think are fucking nutty, probably won't be next week. Actually, it'll probably be some time. But like, send that shit to us. It'll be funny. Yeah, maybe we'll do it here on the podcast. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it. Who knows? We'll, we'll figure it out. We need to figure out like an overlay so that we can just like do some check out pull up stuff on yeah you just want to sit at my desk press the button and go to computer mode hey man i'm just saying i'm just saying react streams are tip top dude (laughs) 
Can't wait to turn our podcast into some React Andy we're, shit. Yeah, we're going to start streaming on Twitch uh, under the Just Chatting section. And then Twitch is still going to eat our money. Dang. They can take half. They're going to take half of zero, bro. But what about when, our, when, about when it's one? It's going to take, like, way more time. I just, it's going to take 20% more time. Whatever. <laughs> It'll be all right. Damn. He doesn't even believe. He doesn't even think it's going to affect him. Look at this guy. Giving up. Here's on the him. thing. If it's all I've ever known, I'll be all right. Damn. <laughs> like, if I get into it now, and, like, that's just, like, where I start, I'm going to be like, that's pretty good. I mean, I'll take half. I'll take half. I'll take half. So, uh, I don't I, – I've had this one. D- do you want to talk about this one thing that uh, I've had, like, on the side since probably when we started talking about this podcast? What? So, um, this was super silly. I think we, like, joked about it for, like, a couple minutes, and then I immediately wrote it down. Um, but do you remember a couple weeks – it's it's probably been, like, maybe a month or at this point, maybe a month or two. Um you remember when I stumbled across a bunch of Muslim dating apps? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, there was like Muzmatch. That one makes me laugh really <laughs> fucking hard. I don't know why it's like that, but I like, of course, that's like for sure a thing that makes a lot of sense to go and uh, have like religious based. Um, I I should uh, dating apps, but <laughs> you know what I'm, uh, some of them they just have funny names you know what like, i just thought of i like literally if you put muslim dating app into google it just says number one halal dating site like that's what it says yeah i you think know, that's really i think that's really funny it makes sense for like a product like that to exist especially in today's like kind of age mm-hmm. but also <laughs> uh i'm i we I should like, make a i should make a segment for you where i show you a bunch of pictures and it's just called is it haram? Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Unless we can have some, we can have a shit call in. It'd be funny. <laughs> uh, and I'll just be like, "Is it haram?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. No. Is up? Is haram or is down? <laughs> haram. Is it haram? <clears throat> ah, sorry, Johnny. We have to send you to hell now. Bye. Bye put them in the hole no we <laughs> I, I i just i think those are so funny because dating apps are nightmares like have you seen the fucking i i know you don't use this one but have you seen like the memes about hinge like voice prompts no dude oh, they're, wait they're so good so <laughs> that shit's unhinged so i ah. watched a bunch of dudes like responding to like this one girl like this girl saved all of her video responses on hinge yeah and like apparently some of them are like really crazy yeah i wonder if i could find that shit it i Maybe. i saw this shit so long ago you gotta be safe out there was got dating people wild so people just be doing stuff yeah they really honestly nowadays people are just saying shit just to see what the fucking what could happen? Can you can you shock a woman into pussy? Is that what it is? Like you're just like <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> you really shouldn't. That sounds terrible. You shouldn't. That sounds g- fucking awful. Yeah, it sounds, sounds like, like a, of, sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> it sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> it sounds really bad. It sounds not okay. Mm-mm. Nope. I don't even. Ugh. Like I might not have like. I feel like I have a pretty decent moral compass. I'm gonna go ahead and say that one's not cool. Probably. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna say that one's not cool, but like. Man, crazy things happen on these dating websites. Mm -hmm. I just like. It's different. It's different out there. I don't know, man. I just see some shit. Uh, It's it's kind of tough because what's happened is for like a lot of people, it's just like a lot of sex workers now. That's just really what it is. Yeah, it's a lot of people selling their OnlyFans and it's stuff. A lot of OnlyFans, it's a lot of escorts, it's a lot of like nothing wrong. It's don't all right. I, don't I, I, get, I res- for sure. Yeah, I respect the hustle. I respect totally women. You respect women. I totally get it. Do the thing. Get out there. Respect women. That's the that's the image. That's the fucking. No, no, right it's there. it's not because here's the thing. That was the last one with me hold, or the wrestling one with me with the Slim Jim. Oh yeah, you did. Just but you didn't have a thumb up. I'm pretty yeah, because that's what we put my Slim Jim into. I think 
I mean, I think it was just your hand. I think you were just doing like a one of these. Guys, we've been having so much fun making thumbnails. We really do. We just kind of like, as soon as we start sitting down, we just like start fucking around. We, all ha- we always hate starting to do it. But and doing then it when, is funny. And then when we get into it, we're like, all right, well, we might as well make this goofy. Yeah, if we're going to do it, we might as well have fun with it. It's funny because we always look at the font we use for the podcast and we're going, we were like, oh, this is like a sitcom. <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. is our sitcom. I was looking at Alex. Can you imagine like, like walking into the room? Boom, bum, 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 bum. You shouldn't make fun of. You shouldn't make fun of this. I swear to God, if we ever have the, whenever we find a dude to play bass, I'm literally having someone record that. I want you to know I'm going to come back to this episode so that we can walk into the room to yeah, the. That's just what we're gonna do. That's gonna be our thing in four years or whatever. <laughs> Whenever, so funny. If we're still doing this podcast. We're going to have a sitcom intro. The sitcom intro is going to be fun. The sitcom intro, the anime intro. I what feel like a tr- lot of people, I what feel like a lot crime? of podcasts do the sitcom intro though. I mean, like it's a thing. It's, it's pretty like. I've actually seen it a lot. Have you? Yeah. I don't really watch a ton of podcasts. I do. I so. watch too many. Yeah. I, I was watching way more and I just kind of like, I just started, I just dropped Here, Here's the once. thing, right? I just got busy. I, uh, I, work in a place where i can listen to podcasts all day that's true, and yeah. that's like the extent of what i can do yeah because you can't than... keep like pulling your phone out all the time yeah, yeah yeah i'm too busy so like yeah i can listen to stuff and like it's way better than just like doing the shit i do yeah just in like, silence just ah it's just nothing but a saw <laughs> 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 for hours hours all day long that's true that's crazy that you do that shit what's it called and you're gonna take kevin with you that's funny i can't I'm wait making, for that. i'm making kevin work with me and I then kevin can can more, then boss. kevin can work full-time on the podcast except we recorded a podcast on fridays which means we'll have to start recording the podcast on thursdays we can re- yeah i was about to say we could record it or any day of the week. or during sundays no <laughs> yeah our sundays are too many things already no it's just D now I guess it is just D and D now. We need to get more sh- shit back on our Sundays. No, no, no. We can just do the podcast, and then that way we're not doing everything every day. You just want to fucking slam a bunch of shit in one day? No, the podcast is fun. I can do the podcast, and yeah, then we can record a podcast. Be in a good mood. Go play some D and D. Oh, dude, the D and D shit. I think be- I think the the two of them working together. It's pretty fine because we're usually having to be home by then anyway for D and D, and we usually are home anyways. Yeah, we usually stay home on Sundays, and actually. we regularly end up recording the podcast on Sundays sometimes anyway. That's true. That's true. It does make sense. And it Kevin is. will be here. But how are we going to get Pergy on? He says it has to be a Friday. That's different. We can make that happen. We need to make that happen. It's gonna be funny. As oh shit. yeah, we talked to the guy who does the ter- d- dirty trivia, and he said he's down to do the podcast with us. I was like, that was. Super- I heard Alex start asking him about it, and I thought that shit was hilarious. I and around. he immediately, he immediately looked at me. He's like, I'm in. I love. Is this just like a dick farts and butts joke like, <laughs> podcast? And I was like, that's exactly what it is. He said, Do you guys like come up with topics? I said, We wing it. He's like the perfect. whole time. We do not. We like write down like little things, but we just wing it. Mm-hmm. We don't. We don't think too deep into what we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I think to be, very it's deep, to be decided. I think very deeply about the Adidas and Waffle House shoes. Apparently, you thought about it for twenty days. Literally. <laughs> I want you to know I'm that fucking committed that I was holding on to it for three weeks. We literally recorded a podcast. That's crazy. <laughs> I just forgot about it terrible hey man <laughs> whoa awesome bro whoa bro show's over uh, i kind of want to go smoke a bowl word word all right, guys. I think this is gonna be it for us. <laughs> Big dog, you wanna shout out? Uh, uh, shout you, out your shit. Yeah, you know, you know where to find me. Twitch, YouTube, in underscore ex. Do the thing. Uh, Twitter at OGC Wonder. I'll eventually change all of those. Hopefully, bang. Where can they find you, Big Dog? Um, so you can find me here on the platformer channel doing the podcast. It's true. Um, 
I'm trying to come up with ideas for videos. It's just finding time to do those videos. They're going to take a little bit longer. I love ideas. Um, ideas are great. What's my Twitter? What is your Twitter? Are you, Yeah, did you finally... I, I guess I'm just going to use the one with my name. It's alex.campioni. Oh, my God. No. He doxed himself. No. Whatever. I've been doing this shit for too long. Probably. <laughs> don't look at my likes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. My likes are pretty clean because I don't do anything, really. Yeah, he just scrolls past the porn. Yeah, I just scroll past the porn. Why would I like the porn? <laughs> Actually, did I like the porn? No, no. I think I think the only porn, porn. I liked was Casey's porn. It is. It's one porn picture, and it's Casey's. So that's just me supporting my friend, all right? Wow. That's totally different. <laughs> all right, man. Well, uh, I guess that's us for this week. What's up? You guys stay good. I hope everybody had a good safe 420. Yee. And, uh... Guys, leave comments. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Send it to your friends. Yeah. Word of mouth is the best way for this to go around. So. Or, also, if you want us to talk about something, leave that shit in the comments. Yeah, give us some things yeah, to talk about. If we miss ideas. something, yeah. get if we're, around to talk about it. If we're wrong, what's it called? We got told that Kevin was wrong about uh, Batman Beyond the other day, and that's true. He was I agreed wrong. with Kevin. I thought he was right. You guys were both wrong. It's okay. It's okay. We can be, we can be wrong. We're human. We're not. We're not perfect. We're not perfect. We can't all be me. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Have a great weekend. I don't know when this is coming out. I don't know. Bye guys. Bye. Ah. Ah.